Hey guys, Steve here. I hope you're doing well. Today's message is titled, Jesus is Always Lifting Up. And uh, I want to thank my brother. He printed some shirts up with John 3.16 on them. As you know, my favorite Bible verse and the Bible verse of my YouTube channel. So, Jesus is always lifting up. He was always going about lifting up. He lifted up the woman of Samaria when nobody bothered to care for her. She came alone to the well. He cared for the woman of Nain when her son died. He cared for Mary and Martha when Lazarus died. The Bible says he went about doing good, healing all, always lifting up, always restoring. He raised Jairus' daughter. He raised Peter's mother-in-law. He cast the demon out of the boy. He said, leave him alone and enter him no more. And then he reached down and lifted him up. Here's a couple more examples. The leper, after the Sermon of the, on the Mount, he was on the backside of the Mount, they think, hiding behind a rock. And Jesus put forth his hand and touched him, saying, I will be thou clean, and immediately his leprosy was cleansed. That's from Matthew 8, 3. The centurion, and Jesus said unto him, I will come and heal him. And Jesus said unto the centurion, Go thy way, and as thou hast believed, so be it done unto thee. And his, and his servant was healed in the self same hour. That's from Matthew 8, 7 through and 13. And he saith unto them, Why are ye fearful, O ye of little faith? Then he arose and rebuked the winds and the sea, and there was a great calm. That's from Matthew 8, 26. In Matthew 8, 13, in Matthew 8, 32, we have the Gergesene demoniac. And he said unto them, Go. And they and when they were come out, they went into the herd of swine. And behold, the whole herd of swine ran violently down a steep place into the sea and perished in the waters. That's from Matthew 8, 32. And remember, the devil comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. So as soon as these demons were cast out of that boy into the herd of, the, herd of swine, what did they do? They ran down and killed themselves. But that ye may know that the Son of Man hath power on earth to forgive sins. Then saith he to the sick of the palsy, Arise, take up thy bed, and go unto thine house. That's from Matthew 9, 6. Later in that same chapter, 9, 22, But Jesus turned him about, and when he saw her, he said, Daughter, be of good comfort. Thy faith hath made thee whole. And the woman was made whole from that hour. With the centurion's daughter, he said unto them, Give place, for the maid is not dead, but sleepeth. And they laughed him to scorn. But when the people were put forth, he went in and took her by the hand. And the maid arose, and the fame hereof went abroad into all the land. That's in Matthew nine twenty four and 26. Again, later in that same chapter, Matthew nine twenty eight through 30. And when he was come into the house, the blind men came to him, and Jesus saith unto them, Believe ye that I am able to do this? They said unto him, Yea, Lord. Then touched he their eyes, saying, According to your faith, be it unto you. And their eyes were opened. And Jesus straightly charged them, saying, See that no man know it. Again, in that same chapter, as they went out, the, behold, they brought to him a dumb man possessed with the devil. And when the devil was cast out, the dumb spake, 
And the multitudes marveled, saying, It was never so seen in Israel. Now Jesus, uh, talking about him always lifting up, but when he saw the multitudes, he was moved with compassion for them because they were weary and scattered like sheep having no shepherd. That's from 936. In John 450, Jesus said to him, go your way, your son lives. So the man believed the word that Jesus spoke to him and he went his way. At the pool of Bethesda, in John 5, 8, Jesus said to him, Rise, take up your bed, and walk. He was always going about lifting up. And even in the parable of the vine and the branches, in John 15, 2, it's very good to read it in the Passion Translation. It says, He cares for the branches connected to me by lifting and propping up their fruitless branches and pruning every fruitful branch to yield a greater harvest. So he is the vine and we are the branches and he will lift us up so that we can bear even more fruit. And I just wanted to share all these little excerpts of good news where Jesus was lifting up with you. So you guys have a great day. This is Steve. Bye-bye.